everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to do a little haul for you. Um, it is stuff that I got a bit early for Christmas. Yes, I'm not. I, I know, um, but I wanted to get a few bits and there was a three for two on Freedom Makeup and just a couple of days on. Anyway, without further ado, let's get going. So I'm going to start off with uh, Freedom Makeup. Now, they had a three for two on and I kind of like the look of this, which is the Pro Strobe Palette um, and it is basically a highlight and contour palette with a brush and um, I bought three, not all for me, um, two for Christmas presents um, and I'm just going to show you what it comes with. So on one side, you open it up and the palette is there um, and the next side you open up and there's like a contour brush like so. And this contour brush is so soft, I haven't tried it on my face yet, but I can imagine that the uh, shape of it would be good for the contour, but the softness would be good for the blending, so I think it is going to be quite a good brush. Um, and I think, right, I don't know whether they watch my videos, but the people that they're for are quite young, teenagers, and um, I think it's a really good kind of starting out into contour thing. So the palette comes like so. So it's got um, three contour and shades and three highlight shades. So it's got a kind of neutral uh, setting powder, a yellowy base setting powder and a shimmery highlight. And then it's got, get off. Um, it's quite a light contour. Um, or a setting powder, I don't know, um, a medium and a dark-ish. Um, they are quite pigmented but they feel like they'll blend nicely. Um, I've just kind of swiped them on my hand, haven't really swatched but yeah I'm looking forward to playing around with that. Um, in a similar vein I've got just a normal highlight powder. This is the Freedom Mega Pro Highlight. In ambient, it does say tester on it, which is a bit weird. Um, as far as I'm aware, they're not in shops. Now, I do have that on today on my cheekbones and on the end of my nose. It seems like a very fine, soft powder, which is really good. It's like not too glittery. Um, it's kind of more sheeny, which I actually prefer. Um, in comparison to this bad boy, which is the Becca On The Go Shimmering Skin Perfector in Opal. Um, the Becca one is a hell of a lot shimmery, or more shimmery. Um, so let's have a look at that. So basically this is a little travel kit um, and it comes with uh, Shimmering Skin Perfector Spotlight in Opal, so it's the liquid, and Shimmering Skin Perfector Crest in Opal. Now I think, I wore this on Friday night out, and I think that I'm not that fussed on this colour on my skin. So I think that Moonstone would probably suit me a bit better. So it's a bit whiter and frostier. Um, I think this was sort of darker skin tone to mine. Um, but it is really, really nice. So basically that is this Shimmering Skin Perfector Pressed. It comes in a small size. Um, but I never get through things. And this wee kit was like 20 quid. And the skin Skimmering Shin Perfector? No. Shimmering Skin Perfector alone is like 30 quid, so it's very golden uh, and rather shimmery, if you can see that on the back of my hand, um, but it is, it is pretty. Whenever I put it on the end of my nose, I felt like it was a wee bit of a disco ball on Friday night, so don't know. Whereas the liquid is actually really, really nice. Not that the, the pressed isn't, but this is a lot more natural. Um, it is comes with a little doe foot applicator. Um, it's a nice creamy liquid. Um, it's like pearlescent almost, and I had this on on Friday during the day um, because I didn't want to wear too much makeup if I was wearing it out, you know, for topping it up um, whenever I went out on Friday night. So um, it was nice, it gave me a nice glow. So I've kind of gone off the Freedom Makeup course, and I think I will jump back on with 
this. This is the Freedom Makeup Pro Studio Glycolic Tonic with ginseng and aloe vera. Now I bought this cause it reminded me of the Pixi Glow Tonic, um, which I haven't tried, but a lot of people rave about it and it was a lot more affordable. I haven't smelt it yet. Let's smell it. Smells alright, yeah. Yeah, it smells nice. It comes with a little like hole in the top so you don't like dump it all out. Um, it says it's a professional exfoliating toner that even out skin tone for a clearer, brighter, more glowing complexion. And basically you put it on a cotton pad and wipe over like you would do with Pixi Glow Tonic. So I don't know. I'll see how it is. Um, it is like six quid. I think Pixi one's about, I don't know, like 15 is it? Um, don't know yet. I haven't tried it. I could definitely do with something for this. Thing. Sticking with skin slash base, I'm jumping away from makeup. I want to call it Makeup Revolution because it's the same company. Freedom Makeup. Um, I bought this on the recommendation of Nikki Tutorials. Um, it's Nivea Men Post Shave Balm. Now I don't know if I bought the wrong formula. This is a sensitive one, or whether I'm using it wrong. But this does not like my skin. Slash my skin does not like it. Um, it's alright whenever it first goes on, but throughout the day I find myself getting quite greasy, which for me is the point of a primer. Um, not to control oil, but like to keep your makeup on. I feel like my makeup's kind of sliding and slipping around. My friend's coming back in this one. There we go. Um, so uh, I did put it on today. I rubbed it in really, really, really well today. Um, not that I didn't do that last time, but I'm not sure, maybe my skin's a bit drier and it seems to be holding up alright. Uh, but I might do a bit of a review on this um, whenever I've tried it out a bit more and let you know. It does smell very, very, very light boy. Which isn't bad, but it's weird rubbing it on your face. Um, and it's very liquidy. So, yeah. And it's glass. Not great for travelling, but you could decant it. Anyway, I've just been really negative about this and I've only tried it twice ignore me until I try it more. I'm going to keep with the uh, non Freedom Makeup stuff and then jump back to Freedom Makeup. Um, in fact this is not even makeup, this is a perfume. It's next Velvet Bloom, I've ripped the top off the box but sure. Um, this is apparently a decadent oriental blend of orange blossom with a rich heart of orchid, soft suede, vanilla and creamy sandalwood. Um, at top notes it's bergamot, orange blossom, heart is jasmine and orchid and base is vanilla and sandalwood and it sounded like it was right up my alley however I do like spicier scents like what do you call it Hugo Boss Intense or Hugo Boss Deep Bread those are two of my favourite um, look first of all at the packaging how stereotypical beauty youtuber am I um, it is gorgeous. The lid, it's, it's called Velvet Bloom and the lid has a little velvet top and obviously it's got flowers all over it. I just thought it was really, really cute. Uh, let me just spray some. It's like, it does sound, it's, not sound, it doesn't sound like anything. It smells like sweet but with a florally musk. That sounds, I don't like the word musk. Um, but kind of sophisticated and grown up as well. Um, it's only like eight quid or something for this little bottle, so it's good for every day, throwing in your bag, and although it's really cute, I don't know if I want to throw it in my bag. Uh, but yeah, I need to stop talking now. So next up from Freedom Makeup, uh, we have these four little, I can show you, four little eyeshadow palettes. Um, these were, for £7.50 and you got a free eye primer and I do love me some eye primer so I thought it'd be really good for travel. Um, I haven't opened any of them yet but this one is like a rosé one and it's called the Pro Shade and Brighten Shimmers Kit. Um, let me just open it a second. Oh, I would do if I hadn't got tape on it. I demand the to open. So, it comes with one, two, oh, oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven shades. Um, a little sponge applicator, which I'll probably never use. Um, it's like it kind of reminds me of the Naked Three kind of colours. Um, it's got like six eyeshadows and a highlight, which 
highlight looks really nice actually um so yeah i thought it'd be good for travel and then it comes with a max kit one um i thought this reminded me a little of the mega basics from urban k um but i thought it would be a good accompaniment accompaniment accompanying palette to um if i what am I trying to say? To like shimmery eyeshadows for like in the crease and stuff like that or for a daytime look or if it would ever open I might be able to use it. There we go. Um, again, seven shades. Only thing is there's not even a little tiny more on these but sure. Wads. Um, and they are all matte as I said apart from the highlighter which is a shimmery highlighter which is random. Um, but yeah, looks good. And then I got the Brighton Play Kit, the Play Kit, which has got like colours. So, you know, if you did want to have your options, you could obviously have colour and mattes. And then the last one, actually, this is more like the Naked one. Naked one, the Naked three. Stunning Rose Kit, it's all um, rosy colours. There's got to have options. And then the uh, eyeshadow primer I put on today and it just feels like any other eyeshadow primer. It goes on really liquidy but it dries pretty quickly which is good um, because your eyeshadow doesn't slip on slip and slide around. And the whole reason that I wanted to make the um, order was for this palette which is the House of Glam Dolls, hashtag Glam Academy um, palette, the vintage doll look. It's got four brow powders, three powder highlighters, ten eyeshadows, two powder blush and four lipstick shades in here. So it's like a whole face in a box. Anyway. Oh, it's got a little leaflet telling you how you can create looks. Um, looks like this, looks like a little book. So we've got quite a nice range of brow shades. So these four at the end of the brow shades. Um, and we've got taupe, brunette, bark and ebony. I think I probably would be between the taupe and the brunette. Um, we've got this, which is starlight, which is a highlighter. And it looks like a nice champagne colour highlight. Um, we've got three, eight, eight shimmer shadows along here and like the long rectangular things and then we've got four what looks like matte shadows along here uh, two blush which I thought were the prettiest of the blush colours out of the I think it was four of these palettes the two blush and then along the top we've got like a whole host of kind of red version of lipstick let me just fin mm, I don't know if these are going to be like do you, do you ever get whenever you were a child um, you know those really shitty makeup kits where you had like 500,000 different things on them and some of them were lipsticks. The pigment kind of reminds me of those. So I'm not sure if I'll use the, uh, what do you call it, lipsticks, but the rest looks nice and I thought it was quite a cool thing and I think it would be a nice gift idea as well. I think it was something like eight quid. So that is everything, um, thank you for watching, if you want to see a review or a look with any of that stuff then just let me know in the comments below please and uh, if you have, um, blah 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 blah, if you are new to my channel then hit subscribe, bye!